Hey guys, we're playing Bravely Second again, so let's just leave off right where we left off last time. So I'm just going to be completely honest with you guys, I accidentally recorded for like 15 minutes without actually recording. So let me quickly show you what I went through right now. Oh Martha, what a lovely wooden brooch. Isn't it beautiful? Mr. Kami Izumi gave it to me as a thank you gift for nursing him back to health. Oh, I thought I recognized the design. It's so beautiful. I'm not surprised that it's Master's handiwork. Wow, Master Kami Izumi made that himself? Whenever he has a few moments to spare, he whittles brooches. He's been doing it for as long as I've known him. Oh, I almost forgot. He left a letter for you, Miss Idia. He did? Oh, let me see. Would you look at this? My master's calligraphy is so elegant, it almost makes me sick. My wounds have healed. And now I must take my leave of this place. But there is one favor I would ask of you. I want you to take this second letter and deliver it to a pupil of mine in Anshein. I once penned a correspondence course book on the secrets of swordsmanship for beginners. It proved to be surprisingly popular. Master wrote a how-to for amateur swordsmen? Really? The pupil in question is a young man by the name of Go. He recently left our campus to make his way in the world. It seems he quite enjoyed my book as a lad, and we often discussed his enthusiasm for the blade during my time here. In a sense, he is your fellow pupil, Idia. As of late, however, the boy has disappeared from the halls of this dormitory. Oh, something terrible must have happened. Maybe Master wants us to go rescue him. I understand that Go secured employment with the Power Betterment Office in Anshine. Please, find Go, and deliver to him this letter. You will have my gratitude. Hmm, this doesn't tell us anything about where Master might have gone. At least we know he's alive. And it doesn't sound like he's in danger. Oh, that's good news, isn't it? It's a load off my mind as well. In any case, I guess we should deliver the letter to this fellow pupil of yours, right? I guess so. What do you say? Time for a visit to Ansheim? Your Majesty, I'm back! Didn't you miss me? Your report, Minette. Did you see to you? Yeah. Forgive me, Your Majesty. I was just so happy after killing the professor and stopping the sandstorm, you see. You won't blame Minette, will Mew Mew? So quieting the winds was your doing. Finally, we can stretch our wings a bit. We should go and round up our troops. And there's Muir. More? I picked up the most perfect little nip of information. The compass that your Majesty is searching for, I know where it is. I've already sent my best little kitties there. Yes, they're searching for it right meow. You have served us well, Manette Napcaddy. Caps are everywhere. Caps see everything. And what they see, I see. Meow, isn't that special? Your Infirmiaushin Superhighway, was it? It is with good reason that they call you the Catmancer. Who's a good kitty now? Who's a good widow kitty? <laughs> Thank you, your Meow Justy. But Meow, Minette must return to her work. Go forth, Minette. And here, perhaps my own feline friend might serve you as well. Truly? Oh, your Meow Justy is too kind! The compass is as good as Muir's. Meow you later! Minette Nap Caddy, a frightful little child indeed. And yet, this is too important a task to trust to her alone, no matter how capable she may be. You wouldn't object to sending Jan as well, would you? A rational course of action. Make it so. As you wish, your Majesty. 
By whatever means necessary, I must have that compass. Okay, guys, so you saw all that dialogue if we come out here. Now we can actually go to Anchime. And now I'll have to kind of show you guys. I didn't actually do much in Anchime, so I literally just walked in here and I was like, oh, wow, this is Anchime from the first game. So. Is this technically the first place that we see from the old game? <clears throat> I'm trying to think of any other spot, but I think this is genuinely the first place where this is Anchime from the first game. So we basically came in here. I looked at the item shop. I bought a couple of Phoenix down, so that's not bad at all. Then I came over to the weapons shop, and uh, they have some good stuff. All I bought was a single mithril sword for Magnolia. And then I bought three turbans and put them on you, Adia, and Tiz. Okay, guys. So, yeah. Now, let's just continue where I left off here. So, there's... Actually, the only thing I need to buy from here is a couple of Phoenix Downs. I only have four. Let's buy a few of those. And there's some really good stuff in these shops. So, let's take a look at this one. All I can really afford is a Mithril Sword. I'm going to go ahead and buy three turbans. And that's really about it because <clears throat> I need to save a little bit of money so I can buy something. So I need to buy rays here. I want to buy blessings there. And then really the only other thing I could buy here is maybe a thunder. And all of a sudden, <clears throat> I'm basically out of money. Let's go to equipment. I need to replace that with the turban. Replace that with the turban. Replace that with the turban. And then the short sword is going to be replaced by the mithril sword. And we're out of money. And that is the town of Anchim. Uh, what's my health looking like? Okay, so we're full on health. We don't need to go to the inn. But I should save super quickly. This will be fixed as far as money goes after chapter 3. But until then, not really. Let's go ahead and go in here. Like I said, so this is all from the last game. So let's see what's going on. You know, what's different from the first game? Welcome to Anchime, Tiznadia. I'm afraid that I do not know your two companions. Well met, travelers. I am Dominus Harina, the Prime Minister. I had only just returned from some official travel and thus was surprised to see the monstros monstrosity floating up there. I had only just returned from some official travel and was thus surprised to see the monstrosity floating up there. I'm occupied now with trying to confirm the scope of damage done to the country by that storm. Okay, so... Just like last game, we kicked out that time mage out of here, and the Prime Minister took over. And I guess he's just doing his thing now, which is kind of cool. So let's continue on with our side quest here. This is where the Prophet Tour was last game. Is there a new person in here? Welcome to the Power Betterment Office of Anshine. I'm Deputy Director Middleman, and you would be... Nobody important. We're just looking for a man named Go. Go? Ah, go get it. The new guy. He'd be inside the next generation labor saver. Collapsed on the floor, shirking his duties, no doubt. <clears throat> the next generation labor saver? They say he was a four star something or another in Al Campus. Well, he's not earning any stars around here, that's for sure. <laughs> In any case, the Grand Mill works. That's where you find them. Though what you want with that slacker is anyone's guess. Okay, so he's not a good worker. That's about all I picked up from <clears throat> that conversation. Which is fair enough, I guess. Let's go ahead and uh, see what he's up to. So he's supposed to be working in the... Inside the clock tower? I wonder why he'd have to be in there. Oh, we've been through this a million times. Oh, I've had it. I can't work in this place a second longer. I'm so exhausted, I can barely move my arms. Please, someone just put me out of my misery. Hey, are you Go? My name is Idia Lee. We're fellow pupils. Or something like that. Fellow pupils? Whatever do you mean? I studied swordsmanship under Master Kami Izumi. He asked me to bring you a letter. I see. 
so how is Mr. Uh, Master Kami Izumi, that is? Oh, he's fine. Up and about. He left the dormitory already. But he seemed worried about you, which is why we're here. So, uh, tough job, is it? <laughs> to say the least. More like crushing toil, morning to night. No rest, no relief. I left Al Campus just last month. A recruiter from the Power Betterment Office visited and scouted me right out of school. I had a letter of recommendation from my professors, a prestigious new job. I thought I was on my way to great things. We heard you were a four-star scholar. What did you study at Al Campus? I was in the Faculty of Magic, working on my summoning thesis. Summoning? And just how are you putting that to use here, working in a windmill? I'm not. All I ever do is turn these cursed cogs. Why, look at my poor fingers. They look like broiled sausages. You're operating the cogs manually? Those were for when the wind had stopped, but now... Next generation labor saver my behind. Despite all my learning, I've been made a fool. They told me it was a trial program to test new technology for dealing with wind outages. Didn't sound so bad until I came down here to the trenches. <sighs> we gads, but I'm tired. If only I'd known, I would have stayed behind in that forest and finished my field work. Why, I was on the verge of unlocking the secret of the legendary summoning spell Amaterasu. Legendary summoning spell Amaterasu. Can't say I've ever heard of it. That's why it's legendary. Where's the allure in summoning something everyone already knows? There's but a single mention of Amaterasu having been summoned over a century ago. Since then, many have attempted the incantation only to fail. If I were to successfully summon Amaterasu, oh, my name would be sung by mages for ages to come. Oh, but look at me now, stuck in this infernal pit with nothing but blisters and oil stains to show for my suffering. But you're not even sure the spell exists. Maybe you were just on a wild goose chase. Oh, it exists. I can assure you of that. I know her. Mephilia? Mephilia Venus. The Manic Savant. Holder of the Summoner Asterisk. The middle child of the Venus sisters, and part of the Blood Rose Legion with which Idia and her friends did battle. Though her heart bears deep scars, the love and support of her sisters has helped her regain a modicum of mental stability. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Oh, so this is where they put you go. Oh, don't you look just dreadful. You must return with me to the forest. Together, we will unlock the secrets of Amaterasu. Oh. Oh, Miss Mephilia! You possess a sharp mind and an aptitude for summoning, and are fiercely devoted to your research. If anyone can succeed in summoning Amaterasu, it's you. Oh, my dear Go, you were born for this. I cannot bear to have you wallowing in this filthy, clamorous cuckoo clock a moment longer. Oh, just look at that grimy face, blighted by smears of grease. <gasps> <laughs> and the smell. <laughs> Do you have to say it like that? This is the career he chose, after all. Oh, Idia. <laughs> Humans bound and battered by the responsibilities of reality are little more than dull little pigs. A mind as bright as this boy's must not be sacrificed to the whims of fate. Now, if you'll excuse us, teleport! Wait, Mephilia! I haven't given him the letter yet. What do we do now? First, we should tell his manager, no? <sighs> You're probably right. 
Man, what a hassle. Okay, to the manager we go, but real quick. I'm curious. Is the dungeon from last game closed? It is. Okay, so yeah, last game we could go through there to go behind uh, the, you know, behind the big master, you know, room where the king was. Apparently it's closed off now. Okay, well, let's go quickly tell the manager of what just happened. And we'll continue on. Probably this next dungeon we go to is where I will grind, most likely. Okay, let's go tell the guy what happened. Welcome to the Power Betterment Office of Anshine. I am Deputy Director... What, Go wasn't at his post? He called it Crushing Toil. Why'd you give him a job like that? It's part of his training. We always assign our most promising recruits to the toughest jobs. Builds character. Sounds more like boot camp. I know how it works. Break him down, make him cry, then after a little encouragement, they're like putty in your hands. Right? Exactly. You have to show these clever clog types what real work is, or you'll never get anything out of them. You're awfully familiar with this approach, Idia. Yeah, well, I've known my fair share of meatheads who like to work this way. It's their shtick. I bet the Crystal Guard was a lot like that, too. Huh, you? Why, yes. More than a little. Hammering the new steel into shape part, drill instructors called it. Still, perhaps I miscalculated. I never thought he'd quit this soon. Any idea where he might have gone? Hmm. Come to think of it, there was something on his resume. Yeah, here it is. Spent several months studying the art of summoning in the Miasma Woods. The Miasma Woods. Okay, to the Miasma Woods we go. We were there last episode. We had to walk through there to get to Florum. If I'm not wrong. Yeah, we had to, we had to get to Florum through that path. Yeah, that make yeah yeah that, that's exactly where we're going. Yeah, so uh, up here, so yeah, Caldisla is uh, that way. Technically, it should be this way. That's where Caldisla should be, and then the water temple and all that stuff is right above us, and the Miasma Woods is right there. So that's a little that's cool. So yeah, we're gonna save the main quest for a little while. Let's go ahead and do a quick save a and I think the Miasma Woods is where I'll end up actually doing a lot of my grinding, but. Let's go in and see what's going on first, you know. Miasma Woods. 15 through 19, so... We're at about that level, because we're all 15, so we're right about there. A little on the low end, but... So if I hit these puddles, I will get poisoned, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, poison. So I want to make sure I don't hit the... Hit the puzzles. Now, real quick. Okay, my encounter rate's all the way low, so let's go ahead and put that on a little bit. I want to face some enemies here. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and do this because I wanted to get whatever was here. Unless we have to hit some more of that pu of those puddles. I'm going to try not to here. Oh, I hate these things. I remember these. I hate them. Okay, let's use um, fire. Let's fire to these things. The other one used trample. And I don't want to hit the mushroom with this thing. I remember that yesterday I don't want to do it. Then it's used heat. I don't want to heat. And then it's going to use trample. And it's going to make that repeat. Oh, this all goes away. Oh, this fire is going to make that repeat. Oh, this fire is going to make that repeat. Oh, this fire is going to make that repeat. Oh, this fire is going to make that repeat. Oh, this fire is going to make that Ooh, I have to get that chest. Okay, wake up bell. Literally, I'm gonna use four antidotes to get one wake up bell. That's fairly annoying, but you know what? Fair enough. I'm gonna try to not hit too many more of those. Blue chest that we cannot open just yet. And see, we got 174 XP for that, which is pretty good at this level. So, hey, not gonna complain. As long as <clears throat> they don't poison me, I don't mind. Uh, I have to go across. This is so annoying, dude. Do I have magic to get rid of poison? Oh, I literally have antidote. Okay, well then never mind. I'm a little dummy, aren't I? Let's not use an antidote until we get across the bridge here, though. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, let's make it across this river, please. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and use the antidote. 
Bang, bang, bang. Let's also use some heals here. Okay, let's do that. The heal from the bishop is not that strong, it seems. It's a little bit of a shame. Oh, uh, this is the way to go out. I hate status ailment fights. They're the most boring, in my opinion, because you can't really directly counter them. You just need to get status ailmented, and you have to fix it. See, why do they get to go first? Why do they get to go first? Alright, good, 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 good. Let's keep moving on here. Right, let's see what we got ahead of us. Ooh, okay. Okay, and of course I hit the poison. Ooh, those things look big. Of course I hit the poison right before going to this battle, so... Am I gonna die here? Oh, okay. No, no, we're, we're gonna be we're, we're gonna be fine. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna kill this thing, though. Ooh, this is gonna suck a little bit. Ooh, we're, we are dead. Not enough MP? Okay, we're totally dead here. Okay, Adia's gonna attack. Oh, okay, we actually we actually made it through. That was fairly lucky, but we're also now we're also let's just do this. This is super dangerous, by the way. Okay. That was a risk there. Okay, now we're gonna do that. And then I'll use magic here. 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 i no, it doesn't help at all. It just nullifies sleep. Which is, honestly, sleep is not even a big problem. It's the confusion that gets me. It's the confusion, if you're strong enough, your people will... Oh, why are they feeling brave? How about you just die instead? Okay, see, why do they get to... That'll help us with, hopefully, enough fights to get to the... Oh, literally, the save guy's right there. I totally just wasted those ethers. Okay, well... Maybe not, because now I need to antidote myself. Okay, um, I want to go over to that chest over there. Now you was completely out of mana once again. Elport stone. Let's use some heals here. Because we've got a save guy right there. We might as well just use all of the heals we got for now. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay, well now we got a un... Oh, of course I touched it. You know what? Please just let me get to him. Oh, we got to him. Okay, let's rest in the college here. Cottage. College. Let's rest in the cottage for 100 peak. I don't care. Just please give me my health and uh, MP back. Okay. Let's go ahead and save the game right here. Okay, save. Can I rest in the college? College two times? Okay, I can. Okay, but guys, I'm going to end the episode off here. Guys, if you enjoyed, make sure to click in the comments on the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.